What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I'm back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty. And today, your 5-0 UAB Blazers who moved up to number 8 in the country are taking on the 2-3 Arkansas Razorbacks in another SEC matchup. And if you guys are excited, make sure you guys drop a like and if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below for more content such as this. And we are going to... Take a look at more recruiting as we're trying to keep up with some of the other guys up there. It's hard to keep up with teams like that we're competing it with, like Florida, because Florida is number two in the nation, and it's kind of hard to compete with some of those top teams because you know the more you win, the likelier your chance that you're gonna have recruits that want to come to your school. And I'm not saying that we haven't been doing that. It's just that it seems like the higher ranked teams will get the benefit of the doubt when it comes to the recruiting process in this game. So, we got to be on our toes, we got to do our best, and we got to prove that we are the best team in the country, which we've been trying to do that for the past two seasons now. Um, kind of shocked us in season two when we went 10-4, and four, but then it came up to the next year where we went 12-2. Uh, and two. Last year we went undefeated, but we didn't win a national championship. And now this year, we, I think we have the best chance now to win a national championship considering that we moved to the SEC and uh, moving all that kind of stuff around helps us in our prestige rank and um, helps us get recruits a lot better too because a lot of players these days you know they see they want to see the conference that you're playing in and then it's like oh you're playing the SEC oh that makes me want to come to your school more you know they want to they want that top level competition so we got to be on our toes on that so we that's part of the reason why we moved to the SEC it's not to say that the ACC has lesser competition it's just that they're not as prestigious as the SEC so I think moving to the SEC was probably the best thing we could do um, and uh, we can look forward to having more of these kind of recruits in the future so that's one of the biggest things that we have to look forward to is building for the future and we have to become one of those top teams that everybody wants to play for you know we want to be that type of Alabama team we want to be that that Florida we want to be that Georgia, the Auburn, the team that everybody wants to play for when they grow up as a kid, you know? <laughs> so, it's going to get interesting. It really is. It's really going to get interesting to see how everything plays out. And we'll see where this season takes us. Um, right now, it's looking really good. Next week, though, it's going to get a lot harder as we take on Alabama. And Alabama is no cupcake, that's for sure. These guys are high class like get ready to get punched in the mouth type of game and hopefully you know it, it, it's at home so we, I remember last time we faced Alabama it was a really close game and I'm hoping this time around that we can at least sneak out with a win it doesn't matter how we do it we just got to do it you know so you take a look at the top 25 too many SEC teams in the top 25 you see a lot of them in there and uh, you see uh, other teams in there like Utah still in there a lot of those 500 teams are in there, like two and two teams are in the top 25. I don't get that. But anyway, uh, take a look at the uh, conference standings here as we have a lot <laughs> to – we have a huge gap. We have the, a big point differential of 160 points through five games. That's ridiculous. So we just got to keep making that gap just a little bit bigger and maybe – will be considered for the national championship but we're gonna get on with this game against Arkansas it should be a great game as we take one more look at the uh, Heisman standings as you see Justin Kelly is still number one as always you know until he starts to slip up but we're gonna get on with this game against Arkansas should be a good one and I'll see you on the field hi everybody Reese Davis with you bringing you the EA Sports NCAA football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan innovation that excites the Blazers have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few W's, that's exactly what happened. We'll see if they can keep it up. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime.
are here at Razorback Stadium as the number eight UAB Blazers are invading Arkansas territory to try and take their sixth win of the season and become bowl eligible in as many weeks as it takes to win games. So here we go on their way here at Razorback Stadium as Hester Jr. taking this one about six yards deep in the end zone. He's going to take it out to the 10, 15, to the 20, and he gets there about 19 and a half yard line. But here comes Justin Kelly. Heisman potential winning quarterback and man oh man I would be sad if he decides to go pro that would be so sad for me anyway I would want to see him to come back and finish his four years at UAB but I think he still has to finish at least three years so we have him for at least another year at least so anyway it's gonna be sad to see him go either way because this guy has been phenomenal Kelly again looking left side caught by Doug Nash again and Doug Nash has been a beast this entire season he has had a breakout season and so has Brian Green and a lot of the t receivers on this team this whole offense actually has had a breakout type of year Kelly looking over the middle but it's almost intercepted by Scott Nichols and that is going to bring up the field goal unit for Adam Green from 51 yards away he nails it so it's now 3-0 and now here comes Arkansas on their first possession. They got a big boy at running back. Uh, this guy's kind of like a Mike Allstott. This guy's not taken down easily. And uh, they must be feeding him some uh, some other kinds of stuff in his cereal every morning. Because this guy's a big boy, as you're about to see right here. Handing it off. Oh, nope. He's going to take it off. Littleton on the run. And he's got a big gap for him. Picking up 20. Or Livingston picking up 20 yards on that run. Uh, now... Third down and one here. Can they get the first down? You see, uh, you know what I'm talking about. 38, the running back. He's a big boy, and he's not going to be taken down very easily. You see right here, though, we're going to take Livingston down in the backfield, and that is going to bring up the field goal unit for Arkansas. So it's a little bit of a stalemate early on in this game. It's The kick is up, and it is good. Yeah, mine was more impressive. I could have made it from, like, 58, but that's just me. But... Anyway, we get this one off to Aaron Hicks underneath. Look at the stiff arm, and he picks up 16 yards and a first. Third down and 10 here. Let's see if we can keep the drive alive. Justin Kelly dropping back the pass. Quick strike, and it's incomplete as Scott Nichols is right there once again playing good defense right there, being alert. You know, he's trying to figure out, you know, Justin Kelly's little tendencies. So Livingston again dropping back, steps to his right, and throws it away. Not a not a very good well it was a smart play by him but not a very good offensive possession for them in general so Kelly dropping back again looking over the middle of Donald Hill's first down UAB they keep the drive alive and now third down and one here from about the 18 yard line Kelly has them in an eye formation handed it off to Aaron Hicks up the gut first down UAB seven yard pickup and a first keeping them chains moving second down and one Kelly in the shotgun looking scrambling to his right trying to find somebody he finds Donald Hills at just the right time touchdown UAB it's now 10 to 3 as now we're nearing towards halftime about five minutes to go here we have the tight end in motion here for Arkansas let's see what they do they're gonna hand the up play action and here is Livingston dropping back to pass I find trying to find somebody open has plenty of time but he throws it to the wrong guy throws it to the white jersey guy and uh UAB is going to get the ball back. First and 10 here for the Blazers. Play action. Kelly dropping back. Right side caught by Hester. And he gets it down to the 21-yard line, picking up 16 yards on the play. Second down and eight. We're going to do a toss sweep to the left side to Aaron Hicks. Aaron Hicks to the left side. He's going to get out of bounds at about the 8-yard line, 23, or down to the for a 13-yard pickup from the 21 to the 8. So do the math. So... Third down and goal. We're going to take this one in with Justin Kelly. Touchdown, Blazers. It's now 17-3 to as UAB starting to run away with it. Third down and two here for the uh, for the Razorbacks. Livingston dropping back, looking over the middle. He gets a weird-looking throw off and gets the completion. A broken kind of play for him. And 58 yards later, they're now in the red zone. Third down and goal here for Arkansas. Can they finally punch this one in and get themselves back in the ball game? Livingston, right side. It's intercepted by Jared Lewis in the end zone. And that is going to be a first down and 10 for the uh, UAB Blazers. 
Two minutes to go here. We're trying to run that two-minute offense. We get this one off to Doug Nash. He breaks a tackle down the sideline, down to the 25-yard line, and a big, big gain. Now we're in field goal range, trying to extend this lead to three scores. That would be ideal to go into halftime with. Third down and four, Kelly looking left side. Oh, beautiful touch pass to Doug Nash. Touchdown, Blazers. It's now 24 to three as this game has gotten out of control. Doug Nash is balling right now. And now here comes Arkansas here with just about 22 seconds left here in the first half. They got their tight end in motion. Looking like they're ready to score again. And Livingston in the end zone intercepted again by Jared Lewis. Jared Lewis with his second interception and has just as many defensive possessions. He's balling right now as well. So now third quarter just beginning. Livingston handed it off to Mitchell. And this is what I'm talking about. This guy's big. He's hard to take down, so you got to take him out by the knees. And now that's an eight. Uh, that's a, about a 15-yard pickup and a first down for Arkansas. First and 10, Arkansas, Livingston. Looking underneath the Lee. Lee breaking tackles. Taking it down to about, well, past midfield down to the 47-yard line in uh, UAB territory. Third down and seven. Livingston looking over the up. Throws it away. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And we're going to get the ball back after they get the field goal, making it 24-6. to six. And uh, here we go. Third down 11. Kelly dropping back. Looking deep downfield. And this one's going to be no. So it's going to be a three and out for the offense. Something you hardly ever see from the UAB offense. But you know what? You know, got to give Arkansas credit. They did good on that possession. Third down and 16. Livingston throwing it deep. And this one's also, oh, it's going to be caught. Oh, my God. McMahon, look at him go. He's going to be taken out by Terrence Savoy about the seven-yard line. What in the world just happened? I'm scratching my head. I don't know. I thought that was going to be an interception, but it ended up being a completion. Livingston looking underneath gets it off to Parker touchdown Arkansas it's now 24 13 and now after they got their big play I'm feeling like you know what let's show them what we got in our cookie jar you know we got something in ours as well as that's going to be a 72 yard touchdown for Brian Green on the first play of the drive it's now 31 13 that was a beautiful well executed play and now it's because we have an 18 lead, 18 point lead because of it. Third down and 10 here. Livingston looking over the middle. It's caught by McMahon again, but this time he's not getting a big gain on that one. So that's going to be a fourth down. We're going to get the ball back here with about 23 seconds left. Here's Kelly on the read option, getting plenty of running room for that first down and a little bit more. As the run game has been pretty efficient so far, I can't say it's been, you know, if, like super efficient like it has been over the past few weeks, but it's been there. You know, we got we got major improvements in the run game. Doug Nash, though, continuing to ball. 27-yard pickup. He's got 150 yards receiving in the game. He's been lighting it up. Kelly again, third down and six, trying to find somebody. And he gets it off, but almost intercepted. As this one's going to end up being the field goal right here to try and make it a 21-point lead. The kick is up by Green, and it's good. So 34-13. Three touchdown lead going into the fourth quarter. I feel pretty safe about our lead. Fourth down and 10. Livingston once again. They're trying to look left side. They're trying to go for that same thing. But this time Roth is there to pick it off. And that is pretty much going to secure the game. Uh, but now third down and four here with about a minute and a half to go. Kelly scrambling to his right. Trying to find somebody open. It's Jay Henderson, the freshman tight end. Touchdown Blazers. It's now 41-13. As that is going to be the final score of this game as Kelly had another fantastic performance 417 yards passing in the game 14 carries 65 yards five total touchdowns as UAB moves up to 6-0 on the season and next week ladies and gentlemen this may be the biggest game of the dynasty as next week we take on number three Alabama in a regular season showdown that could determine who goes to the national championship even or even the sec championship game so anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed drop a like and if you're new to this channel at all hit that subscribe button down below for more content such as this uab one step closer to their dreams of becoming national champions all we got to do is beat alabama next week but thank you guys so much until then my name is sim with vengeance you guys have been amazing as always i am out peace